Hey guys, so yes, I am filming these videos back to back. My camera is dying, but just one more AP, which is AP English Language. And this is an AP where I was challenged a lot, cried a lot, stressed a lot, but it was a good class. This is a class where it was very challenging because English is not my best subject. And I bought the book. I got each of these books at Christmas because that's all I asked for. I just wanted to do good on my exams. And would I recommend it? It's an okay book. My teacher, I think, gave us more challenging um, multiple choice. And I do think there's more challenging multiple choice out there for you to practice for the exam. But basically, it's like AP Lit. Um, my school does it that you take Lang senior year. So some people are like, what? You took Lang senior? What? Like some schools have it. Like my neighboring school is switched. And we're like in the same um, city town. So it depends on the school really. But for AP Lang, um, it's very different from Lit. In Lit, you're trying to find um, what does this character like help the purpose? Or I mean, how does this character help the purpose? And what does this mean? You're like figuring out the deeper meaning. And I feel like Lang is more, you're looking at the structure. What does um, the Sanafra do? What does Epizuxis? Like you're looking at, and those are rhetorical devices, which you will learn about. There's a lot, I think I studied 40, around 40, 45 um, in Lang this year. In English, I'm not like into analyzing classic texts. This was more analyzing language, literally the language, the structure. I don't know how to explain it. It's not the content necessarily you're studying. You're studying the structure of the content. So let's say, um, like, let's say you have this concept. Is it in a poem form, short story? No, you don't like study that, but I'm just trying like, a, you're looking at the way that it has been shown to you physically rather than like figuring out the meaning of it. So I'm not saying that you're gonna be um, like a multiple choice question is gonna be like, is this a poem or a short story? It's not like that at all. You're gonna be, um, let me read off a multiple choice question actually. Um, what is the purpose of the first sentence? In lines 7 through 15 of the passage, the speaker uses an extended analogy that compares. Like stuff like that, you're looking at rhetorical devices. Or here, this question says, this passage as a whole can be best described as, that's more like a content thing, but you still, you have, and it's English, like you're gonna have a bit of content. But here, I'll read this one question. Lines 27 through 34 contain all the following except parallel syntax, a loose sentence, prepositional phrases, relative clauses, or a simple grammatical subject. So you're definitely not just looking at content, it is more, again, rhetorical devices, techniques, devices um, in general that the author uses. It's definitely review a lot, write a lot, you'll be doing three essays, and one of them is a synthesis, then you'll be doing an argumentative piece and a rhetorical analysis. So that is also where you analyze a speech. Synthesis is you look at different documents like a DBQ and the argumentative is kind of an open prompt. It's usually like philosophical or something dealing with like a principle, like it's being competitive, um, good, or um, I'm trying not to say the one that was mine, but basically like is like, is it an excess of this too much? Um, is being materialistic good? Like, just stuff like that kind of philosophy based. So I just want to wish you luck if you decide to choose English Lang. I hope this gave you a bit of a snapshot of what the actual class will be like. It's definitely more challenging than I'm making it seem, but it is definitely worthwhile because it makes you look at how marketing, how just communication in general works. I definitely think this is a great class to take. So thanks for watching my AP series and enjoy the summer. And the summer work, definitely do that.